Hello everyone, Crystal Fisher here. Welcome to another one of my Spyro the Dragon texture hacks. Now, as you can see, we're here using the Spyro World Viewer, which was actually, of course, the sort of the beginning of the texture hacks, as it was originally just an experiment with changing world viewer textures with uh, the bitmap images and then replacing the skybox and stuff like that so before we we're able to put it in game we put it in the world viewer created by Cly men company now i thought that it'd be a good idea before i show another one of the in-game texture hacks to go back to the old days and make a traditional nighttime level now i've done that with artisans i've done that with I think it was Town Square uh, on the world view, and then in game I've done Mystic Marsh from Spyro 2, and also I think it was uh, Autumn Plains at Night. Anyway, we're here looking at Cliff Town at night, and this well, there was a few little changes beyond just making it darker. Firstly, what I wanted to do is I wanted to have a sort of a, a more blue purple overlay going over. So you'll notice that when you're looking at the uh, floor there, it looks a lot more purple, looks a lot darker. It's not just you know add black add darkness to this that's not how it works you need to actually look at the tone and you also need to look at the color of the sky box because if you want to make it realistic you got to think the sky reflects on the ground so this sky box is i believe it's from i believe it's dark passage i'm 95 percent sure i will double check if, if i made a mistake i'll put it in the description or whatever but i believe it's dark passage which is a fantastic sky box You'll notice that that sort of blue in the sky is pretty much never used again in Spyro 1 to 3. Um, it's a very it's a very Spyro 1 color. I know that sounds really strange, probably too obscure even, but it is like it is a Spyro 1 color for lack of a better word. Like you just it's you know kind of like the color of the the gem, you know, the blue gem was blue not purple. Um, and then yeah we've got obviously I'm just I'm just doing a bunch of cool little shots like this to try and show it the level up as good as possible uh, the major other major change is you remember that the roofs were I believe they were sort of more of a maroon you know maroon maroon whatever I didn't say that wrong for years uh, more of a reddish pink sort of purple color I decided to change into blue to actually match the lava which is also a bit sort of darker you can quite tell that I don't know I just thought it'd be cool to make it more of a blue level Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching, hope you enjoyed, and the next level I'll be doing in-game will be Snowy Beach. Goodbye.